welcome back again, again, uh, after a spring break, taking a week off. You know, we're on, we're off, we're on, we're off. Well, here we are again, and this time what we're going to be going now, as you probably heard, it's going to be going online learning for the rest of the school year. And so what we're going to have is I'm going to have two more lessons that I'm going to be doing about earth science, and then we're going to shift over to something that's actually looks like it's a pretty good thing, where it's going to be a curriculum that all the teachers are doing. I'll still conduct it. But it's going to be about bees and uh, you know, it's got different facets and things of that sort. So at any rate, we got two more lessons about plate tectonics and about earth science in this case. And what I want to do is today go into earth, plate tectonics. And we already talked about, oh, the discovery of seafloor spreading. Now what I want to do is what happens when you get two plates running into each other, when you have a converging boundary. And then I want to get to the Pacific Northwest and talk about Northwest geology. Basically, where this is going is, where did the Cascade Mountains come from? Why do we have Cascade Mountains, and why are they volcanic? You've heard about a, what was the name of that volcano? Um, what was the name of it again? Uh, Mount, uh, Mount St. Helens, May 18th, 1980. So we're coming up on the, let me see, 1980, that would be 40th year anniversary in just, you know, a little bit more than a month. It's going to be the 40th year anniversary of the first big eruption of Mount St. Helens. And there was actually a series of them. It was kind of interesting. I was around in the area when that was going on. In fact, I was taking some geophysics classes, so that was kind of a, um, whatever. Anyway, um, that's where we're going with this. Plate tectonics, going into Pacific Northwest geology, and uh, ending up with, uh, you're going to have a, um, again, another research assignment. It's not going to be a huge, giant, long project that's going to take you four hours a day, but I want you to research Mount St. Helens and do a four slide presentation on what you've learned about Mount St. Helens, okay? So I'm gonna get into it a little bit, but then I'm gonna have you do some more research about exactly what happened in the event, okay? So anyway, we're coming up on the 40th year anniversary, so that's a perfect time for that. All right, so let's get started with today's lesson, plate tectonics leading into Northwest geology. Where did those pesky Cascade Mountains come from? Well, plate tectonics can explain it. Okay. All right, you should have your notebooks by now out, and you should have a clean sheet of paper. And assignment number 23, title it 23, plate tectonics. In Northwest, NW for Northwest Geology. Geology, right? The science of the earth. Okay, that's assignment number 23. Paper ready, and let's get to it. Plate tectonics. Okay, plate tectonics. This was one here. You should have your paper titled Plate Tectonics. And the idea here is that the earth is covered with tectonic plates, they're called. These are like slabs of earth's crust. Uh, they're actually lithospheric plates is what they're called. But anyway, you got these boundaries between them where they're stretching out away from each other in the diverging boundaries, or they're coming together in convergent boundaries, which is what you have along in Asia there. Um, and so there are basically three types of boundaries. And the three types of boundaries you have diverging boundaries that are moving away from each other. The ones that, like in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge that we talked about before, right? Where they're moving apart, right? And then you also have converging boundaries where they're coming together. So that's when one is subducting underneath the other one. They're coming together, boom! Well, one of them is going to slide beneath the other one. And that's really an important one. That's the one that uh, basically we're in a subduction zone in the Pacific Northwest. And that's important for Northwest geology. What's the word? Subduction, that is a converging boundary. Okay, and then the other kind is when they're not one moving into each other or away from each other, but moving across each other, transform boundary. And now it's one, I'm not gonna stress all that much. It's pretty important though, because California, where you've heard of the San Andreas Fault, where they have a lot of earthquakes and stuff, that is a transform boundary where the Pacific plate is moving up. Uh, north toward Alaska and taking Los Angeles with it. Anyway, um, that's a transform boundary. So we have 
diverging, moving apart, converging, moving together, and transform where they're moving across each other. Okay, and that's going to be what most of your notes are and some pictures, okay? So let's go for it. So remember, convection is what drives this whole thing. Inside the Earth's interior, we have heat, and that makes these convection cells that pulls them apart and also drives them together again. So this, the Earth's lithosphere, the outside part of the Earth, is moving around, driven by the power of the heat of the Earth's interior. 